Darkness, the final divide. These are the voyages of the starship Omega Genesis. It's 7,000 year mission to investigate veiled biblical words, to bring about new life and true salvation, to bravely go where no woman has gone before. This is Captain Leah reporting for duty. Captain's report, start date 2024 AD. Our last communication was intercepted by the Canulans and the Demons who prevented my message from being delivered to Star Command. The Canulans and Demons have been dreaded enemies for many generations, but are now working together in order to destroy us. A few of our crew members were taken captive the rest of us were transported to safe zones until Omega Genesis was fully recovered by intergalactic headquarters. Since my last attempt to transmit the intel from my science officer was a failure, I must successfully dispatch this critical information before it's too late. Time is of the essence. The number of captives grows by the thousands daily, and with each passing moment, the state of the ones already enslaved becomes far worse. Live long and prosper. This is Captain Leah, reporting for duty. Greetings, fellow Star Command. This is your captain. Today, we are going to get into some very interesting details that I was unable to share with you in our last transmission because of the interference from the Canulans and the Demons. So let's go ahead and get started. And please know in advance that the information transmitted to you in this message is of the utmost. Our last transmission was intercepted by the Canulans and the Demons working together who prevented me from reporting this intel given us by our science officer to Petra and her team of astrophysicists and astronomers. Omega Genesis was nearly destroyed and several of my crew members were taken captive through their deceptive mind manipulation techniques. The rest of us stood strong against them before being transported to safety zones by intergalactic headquarters. Now to the few of you remaining, please retrieve your log diaries and prepare to make entries of what I am about to communicate to you. Be advised, this is top secret intel. You will have 24 hours to record all of this information in your minds before it is wiped out completely from your log diaries. This is a war, a war that is invisible to the eye of man. There are only two forms of human species. One breed is the bloodline of the Canulans, and the other is our bloodline, the bloodline of the one. 
We are made in the image of the one and his son, the way, while the Canaanites are made in the image of their father, Gadriel. We have been sent here, not of ourselves, but for the sole purpose of rescuing the prisoners and leading them back to the one through his son, the way. That is our sole purpose. So you must understand this is why we exist to begin with. It is our only purpose. The Intergalactic Federation of Space Science Technologies has discovered something that has left them speechless. They have no explanation and it remains a mystery to them. However, we are different. We have been chosen and set apart by the one strangers and aliens sent to a lost and dying world as a witness of the way sent and birthed through the seed of man by the one now i must warn you in advance just as the ancient log warns us what i am about to reveal to you is so awesome and so deep it is nearly impossible for our human brains to comprehend. But no doubt you will understand because you have been chosen for this. And the one recorded everything in your DNA before the foundations of the world, when as of yet none of us existed. So now, fellow Star Command, let's go to the computers. Let's look at this information that I so desperately need to get out to you. It is very important. It's important that you pay attention, important that you understand, because this has everything to do with why we are here and with how great, how awesome, and how absolutely amazing the One is. We need to know just how awesome the One is. You need to try to get some sort of an idea of how big he is. Now, as I just mentioned, it's going to be hard for our human minds to comprehend. But if we're going to find him, we have to begin to realize how great and mighty and powerful and fearsome the one is so that we will obey him. So let me go ahead now and share this information with you so that you can understand. So there are two things that are the biggest mysteries to science, and that is dark energy and dark matter. First, I'm going to tell you about dark energy, and then we'll get into dark matter. But as I just mentioned, they are two of the biggest mysteries ever to astronomers and astrophysicists. But first, we'll begin with a couple of verses. Emus 5.8 from the ancient log states, he made the Pleiades and Orion and changes deep darkness into morning, who also darkens day into night, who calls for the waters of the sea and pours them out on the surface of the earth. The Lord is his name. Psalm 1311 states, He made darkness his hiding place, his canopy around him, darkness of water, thick clouds of the sky. God conceals himself in the darkness, which is defined in the ancient language as obscurity, secret place, to be hidden, to conceal, withholding light, in other words, invisible. The Intergalactic Federation of Space Science Technologies, upon generations of research, have discovered dark energy and dark matter. Dark energy cannot be measured and does not interact with light, so it cannot be seen. Its composition is unknown. It is a mysterious force that pushes apart or spreads out and stretches the structures of the universe. It is the largest factor that may govern the universe. It is the unexplained force that causes the universe to expand at an accelerating rate. It creates a feedback cycle. As the universe expands, more dark energy is created which leads to more tension 
and a stronger repulsive effect that accelerates the expansion of the universe. It is a powerful force that causes the universe to expand faster and faster over time. It creates a repulsive force that pushes space outward. This force is global and affects the entire universe. It makes up most of the universe. It is estimated to make up about 70% of the universe's mass energy density. We only know about dark energy because it is thought to be the driving force behind the accelerating expansion of the universe. As I just mentioned, the exact nature of dark energy remains a mystery. I have plenty more information to share on this, but now I also want to give you a brief overview of dark matter. Dark matter does not interact with light, so just like dark energy, it cannot be seen. It does not absorb, reflect, or emit light. Researchers can only infer its existence from its gravitational effect on visible matter. Dark matter acts as an invisible gravitational force, pulling galaxies together and playing a crucial role in the formation and structure of the universe by influencing how galaxies clump together and evolve, essentially acting as the scaffolding that holds the visible universe in place, despite not interacting with light directly. Without it, galaxies would not have formed as we observe them today. It makes up most of the mass of the galaxies and galaxy clusters and is responsible for how galaxies are organized. Scientists don't know what it is made of and searching for it is one of the most challenging searches in science. Unlike dark energy, which stretches things out and pushes things apart, dark matter presses or pushes things together. It exerts gravitational pull effectively acting as the glue that holds galaxies together, influencing their formation and structure on large scales. It is the primary component of the cosmic web, the large scale structure of the universe that pulls and draws together. It makes up approximately 27% of the universe and is responsible for the structure and creation of the galaxies and the universe. Without dark matter, galaxies would not form as we see them today. Dark matter and dark energy are the two biggest mysteries of outer space to scientists. Even though they are referred to as dark, these two mysterious findings are not really dark at all. They are invisible. For example, dark matter's presence is only inferred through its gravitational effects on visible matter like stars and galaxies. It makes up such a significant amount of the universe mass that it far exceeds the amount of visible matter. The difference between dark matter and dark energy is that dark matter pulls galaxies together while dark energy pushes apart, separates, stretches out, and expands. In fact, according to NASA, dark energy is everywhere. It is even present in the room with you and is within your body. But because gravity is much stronger at smaller scales, which is why you don't fly out of your seat, for example, when you're sitting down, it is only on an intergalactic scale that dark energy becomes noticeable. And since it's everywhere, it even overwhelms the dark matter. Hubble has helped gather precise measurements of the universe's expansion rate but its findings underscore a nagging discrepancy. The universe is expanding faster now than was expected from its trajectory seen shortly after creation, and no one to date knows why. Now I'm going to share with you a verse from the ancient log, Psalm 18, 9 through 12. He bowed the heavens also and came down with thick darkness under his feet. He rode upon a cherub and flew, and he sped upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his hiding place, his canopy around him, darkness of waters, thick clouds of the skies. From the brightness before him passed his thick clouds, hailstones and coals of fire. 
By the way, bowed in the ancient language means to spread or stretch out, extend or thrust away. You may be asking yourselves at this point what this has to do with God. But my few remaining star commanders, it has everything to do with God. You may also think at this point you know exactly where I'm going with this, but I assure you that you do not know exactly where I'm going with this. We went to the ancient language and we found hidden in the words things so deep and so incredible. Even we could not fully comprehend it. We are the remaining few and we bear witness of the truth. If we do not find the one, we will all be destroyed. The one has sworn in the ancient log that he would reserve and rescue a remnant. So failure is not an option. It has already been predetermined since the very beginning. I think someone or something is trying to access or control my mind. This is Captain Leah calling for the way. I need assistance immediately. The demons, they're, they're, they're trying to access my mind. They're attempting to manipulate my thoughts. I can't even hardly talk. I need assistance immediately. I think they've already gained entry. Please, I need assistance immediately. Captain Leah calling for the way. Immediate assistance is needed. If I fall, this entire crew could be taken captive by deception. Please respond immediately. Please. Please respond immediately. They're gaining access. Respond immediately. 